Hey guys, I'm back to the channel. Today we are going to be battling the final form of Sir Constello and Prodigy, so let's get into the video. Alright, so I have completed pretty much every single goal in the storyline. All we have to do is just beat Sir Constello, and this battle is actually very hard. Um, surprisingly, he is, I believe he's Shadow. Normally he is Astral, but now his element is Shadow, so we are going to go ahead and be using the Titan Vanquisher Katana along with the Star Drake's Relic because both of those have very past or powerful astral spells. We're also going to be going in with, I believe, Tribeek and Nebluff. So, um, I lost the first time I did this. If you go over here, you can see that we're going to be battling Sir Constello and it says, Take this, you bitter star dumpling. And she does some sort of attack that doesn't work. And it says, our witness my full power, you pint-sized spell flinger, I shall crush you with the full might of the stars on guard. So, um, I'm pretty sure he has about 21,000 health, which is a lot. It's a very tough battle. Yeah, he has 21,455, or 554, 545, uh, health. So this is a pretty tough battle. Um, I wasn't really prepared the first time I did it, though, but I still don't really feel like I'm prepared this time. So he goes for Nebluff with an Astral attack, which is good. He can do both Astral and Shadow attacks, which really, uh, is probably the reason that I lost last battle. Because those, uh, Shadow attacks did a lot of damage. But let's see if we can win this one. If I don't really win here, I don't really know how I'm going to win because uh, these are kind of my best Astral Pets. Rather, I'd have to level up my Tribeek a bunch, or I'd have to merge my Nebluff a bunch, which both of those I don't really want to do. So, we're going to use Meteor right here, and it gets dodged. Um, I think that we can probably go for, I think it's Galactic Low right here so it's actually pulsar impact and 17 19 i think that's pretty much about as high as it's going to get there so i guess let's use starlight blast here and hopefully he doesn't take out my nebluff i kind of feel like he will please don't use an ash okay use a shadow and ooh, that is not good that is the one attack that is really bad. Um, I don't really know how to avoid not getting taken out there. So there goes our wizard. And yeah, this battle is very hard. I'm going to try and think up something that I can do here. So let's go ahead and look at my pet book. Um, I think Tribeek. Uh, I guess I can. I do have a pretty decent amount of magic coin. I don't want to spend any of my gold. Um, 253 magic coin, I guess we'll do it. So, Tribeek's on level 150 now. I don't want to merge my Nebluff at all, because that would be way too expensive. I think it's, yeah, 390 to do one merge. We're not going to do that. So... I guess let's go ahead and try and head into another one. I kind of feel like it's luck. Uh, there's not really much other things that I could think of besides for it being luck. Because this thing is just way too powerful. There are no pets that I can think of that um, are not astral types, but that have mainly astral spells. And we also can't really use shadow pets. So maybe the strategy is to go with non-astral, non-shadow pets. I think that if we lose this one, I'll try that next battle. But I don't know how it's going to work. Our Tribeek is actually really good now. Um, it has 3,602 health. So hopefully that will help us out here. Let's go ahead and use Meteorites. And that does 1073. Um... We've barely taken out any health, but we have gotten two pretty good hits already. As long as we don't get any 
like, dodges like that. I was going to say that we should be fine, but there was a dodge there, and that's kind of bad. So, that's good damage. Hopefully he goes for our wizard. Okay, he doesn't. Um, I guess he's probably going to use a shadow spell next hit, which, uh, I don't think any of my pets have healing, which would be, like, the only thing that I could think of that would possibly help us right here. Uh, okay, actually, Tribeek does. That could actually save us right here. Let's go ahead and see if Cosmic Blessing can save us. Okay, 810. Nebuloth is on good health. Um, ooh. Okay, actually, we do survive that hit, which is good. I can't really use any more healing. So, let's go ahead and use Meteorite. We kind of just have to hope that he goes for our wizard, or that he uses a single spell here. I can't really afford for him to use a multi, so... We're gonna go ahead and use Galactic Glow, and it gets dodged again. Um, let's use Starlight Blast right here. Hopefully none of these get dodged. 628, okay, that's fine. He's on half health, and please go for the wizard with a mult. Okay. There goes Tribeek. We kind of need him to go for my wizard next hit. We really don't want a multi. We do have an all-out attack right here. Um, I assume my wizard can survive two more hits, which wouldn't be enough to take out Sir Constello. Um, yeah, he's down to 8,132. The most damage that we can do is like 5,000. There he goes, Nebluff. And we can probably survive about one or two more hits, so there's not really anything that we can do. Um, let's go ahead and use Galactic Glow. That does 1719. But we should get taken out this hit or next at 1090. If he misses, um, we kind of need him to miss twice and for us to get two critical hits or three critical hits. And that doesn't look like it's going to happen. Okay. okay, I thought he did miss there, but he didn't. So, yeah, we got... That was our best battle so far, but it still wasn't enough to beat him. I do have one pet that's on level 150. I have Shiver Tusk, which I guess could serve as an alternative for Nebluff. I do guess that we'll, we'll try it out. So let's go ahead and use Shiver Tusk. I'm not going to merge him to merge 5 either because, or merge 6 because that would be way too expensive. Let's go ahead and try this again. Um, I don't think that we'll get any closer this time. But there is a possibility, since Shiver Tusk isn't going to be weak to his Astral or Shadow spells. So, let's go ahead and use Star Blast here. And... Okay, one of them did get dodged. We kind of just need for none of our spells to get dodged. Um, and it looks like Shiver Tusk is going to take about the same amount of damage as Tribeek does. So let's go ahead and use Galactic Glow right here. That does 2,312. That's good. We kind of need a lot of critical hits as well. So we are going to use Frost Spear right here. And that should do about 1,959. Okay. Let's use Astral Storm right here. I think that we kind of have to use Cosmic Blessing next hit. Um, I guess the strategy could sort of be to just use healing spells a lot. But, so let's go ahead and use Pulsar Impact, 719. Do we, maybe we just want to go just like full healing, find the most healing pets that we can find on our team, and then we just spam healing and go with our wizard a bunch. Uh, we do have to use Cosmic Blessing right here. This will get both Tribeek and our Wizard up to full health. It doesn't do that for Shiver Tusk, but he does use a Shadow Spell right here. Okay, we do survive that hit. 
Um, I guess we're going to be using Galactic Glow right here. Yep, so this hopefully gets a critical hit. It doesn't, it gets a dodge instead. So, let's use Frost Spear. Um, he's down to about half health. We do have an all-out attack next hit, but I think that our Shiver Tusk will probably also die this hit. We kind of need him to just do a singular spell. Okay, that's very good damage right there. We need him to do some sort of singular spell. Yes, that is fine. Although I don't like that it's at our wizard. So our wizard could potentially die next hit, which isn't good. We kind of need him to do an astral spell at, uh, I guess, sort of Shiver Tusk, actually. Because we need to be able to get a Cosmic Blessing off right here, which we need one more um, hit there. So, let's go ahead and use Astral Storm. We need um, our Wizard and Tribeak to survive this turn. Or he could just miss right here, which would be great. He doesn't, and there goes our Wizard. Um, I don't think that we're in a great spot here. Um, I think this is probably the best that we've done. We'll go ahead and use Frost Spear right here and follow it up with Cosmic Blessing. So, we could potentially win this. It's not a great situation. Uh, we kind of need him to just target. Okay, that's fine. We survive another hit. We'll use Frost Spear right here. And I think that we have a pretty good spell for Tribeak right here. Um, hopefully we can get a few criticals here and no dodges. So we're going to use Starlight Blast. Uh, this should do about 1,300. Okay, one of them did get dodged. I guess that's sort of fine. Go for... I thought that missed. It didn't. So I think that we're going to lose this one as well. It really does feel like this is luck, but we did get a lot closer this time. Uh, we are, we'll need him to miss twice in a row for us to have a shot, and he doesn't miss. So, yeah, we lose that one as well. So, I think that we have a shot with the team that we're using right now. We just need a little bit of luck on our side. So, we're going to go ahead and continue with this team. I think I accidentally went down, yeah. So, what's going to happen here? Nothing. So, we have to go back up, and let's go ahead and do... that. Why does that keep happening? Uh, let's go ahead and head up here and do this battle. So, you just can't click. And there we go. So, let's go ahead and try this once again. Um... I do feel like we could win this if I merged my Shiver Tusk, but I really don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and start us off with Starlight Blast. Um, I probably, if I don't win this one, those were some good hits. If I don't win this one, I think I'll try replacing Shiver Tusk with a Healing Pet. Um, let's go ahead and use Pulsar Impact right here. I do not know if I have any pets that have healing spells that are good. Um, I guess I might have another Merge 6 Tribeak. Actually, I'm pretty sure I do. So, we could go in with just two uh, Tribeaks that are merged. That might be a good strategy. Although, I will have to level up the Tribeak because I think it's only on like level 80. But let's go ahead and see if we win this battle first, because we're not in a good spot. Let's use Galactic Glow right here. Hopefully it's a critical. 17, 19, that's fine. Um, let's use Frost Spear. And 14, 38, that's nice. Let's go ahead and use Cosmic Blessing here, because we have to survive this hit. Did he use his shadow attack last attack? I think he did. So, we should survive this hit as well. And he missed. That's good. We kind of need him to miss multiple times if we want a good shot. Um, 
So let's use Pulsar Impact right here. And it got dodged. So I think the Tribeek should be able to survive to another healing round. Unless uh, Sir Constello has some sort of uh, shadow attack that he uses. And the last two spells got dodged, which isn't good. That spell did a pretty good amount, though. He will go for a wizard. Our wizard is a little too low. We're going to use an all-out attack right here, which should get him below 10k health. Um, but our wizard needs to not get hit right here. I think Tribe can use... Uh, cosmic Blessing next hit. We kind of want Sir Constello to do a singular spell on probably Shiver Tusk right here. So let's hope that that happens. I think Sir Constello goes this hit. Hopefully he goes for Shiver Tusk. Okay, that's fine. So our wizard will survive another hit. Um, I don't know how much Tribeek will heal our wizard for. Um, I guess it'll be about 900, 800-ish. So, that spell, I think, dodged. I wasn't really paying attention. But so let's go ahead and use Frost Spear right here, and then we'll use Cosmic Blessing. I think that we actually do have a fairly good shot right here. Let's go ahead and use Cosmic Blessing. And I guess we kind of want him to do a singular... Okay, yeah, that is good. I think that we should win this one. We're going to use Pulsar Impact right here. And that does 2312, so we did get a critical hit right there. We're going to use Frost Spear right here. And that does 959. And as long as something crazy doesn't happen, I think that we should win this battle. So let's go ahead and use Starlight Blast. That will do... 496 okay so that's good and uh, let's see what happens here i think that takes out our wizard okay it doesn't so we should win this because our wizard will do probably 17 16 damage unless it gets dodged so does it get dodged nope and yeah we're gonna win this battle um i think that we'll see the puppet master after this and he'll allude to pumpkin fest i think so we beat sir constello right there and do we what rewards would we get from this okay we don't get any reward okay we get the cosmic sword that's nice i don't think i remember seeing that out of the um reward track over here but here we see no you miserable it's impossible my cosmic might my sparkling splendor Ah, uh, and then he's going to disappear. Maybe we see the Puppet Master right here. He sa she says, Hooray, you did it, dear. Starlight Festival is safe, and that over-glittered wannabe won't bother us anymore. I am t eternally grateful and so proud of you. Enjoy the rest of the festival. So I guess we don't see the... Pu okay, there, here it is. And for some reason, he's this version of the Puppet Master. He's not... Um, the Dragon Isle Puppet Master, or the Puppet Master, um, f from, like, hard mode, so this is weird, but he says, What's my brilliant Starlight Knight defeated, my Dazzling Clan ruined, or never mind. And I accidentally skipped that dialogue, but I assume that he said something about, uh, I guess I'll have to come back in Pumpkin Fest something like that but we do get um charful from this so pretty useless and yeah that is i guess pretty much the end of starlet festival we can continue to battle sir constello but we're not going to do that but yeah that is going to go ahead and end up the video if you guys enjoyed make sure to like subscribe and bye